What's up guys and welcome back once again to Chris Aquariums. Today we're going to talk about goldfish and how to sex them or how to tell them apart from male and female. Now as you know goldfish are one of the most popular fish in the entire world and the reason is because they're easy to keep, they eat nearly anything and they tolerate a wide array of water parameters. Because of this, the world over people have been keeping goldfish, some in tiny little bowls and others in elaborate ponds. But the other reason that people keep goldfish is because they're very easy to breed. A lot of times they'll breed without any kind of prompting or water conditions or preparation. They'll just breed quickly and easily, which means that there's a large amount of people who will buy goldfish purely for the fact to reproduce. I myself have two goldfish outside in a pond which are fancy goldfish, which is exactly a result of selective breeding over centuries. Now, I've had these goldfish for about two to three years, and for whatever reason, I just haven't even sexed them. I don't know what sex they are, until recently where I found out one of them was a female. So we know this one is a girl because as I picked her up and put her in the bag, she released some eggs. So that answers a question that I have wanted to know for a while. And this one I still don't know, but perhaps I'll sex it at some point. So what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about the five ways that you can sex a goldfish. And we're going to end it off by sexing the goldfish or finding out the male or female gender of the fish that I have outside. Now, I just want to preface this by saying the more information you'll find on this topic, the more you will see that these methods, all five ways, none of them are 100% accurate all the time and it's best to use an array of all five to see what sex your goldfish is. Now let's talk about the first aspect, which is body shape. The typical thing to look for is that a female goldfish will have a wider body. If you look from the top down to the goldfish, the size and the shape of the body should be wider. Now when you look at a male, the way to tell if it is a male is that it'll have a deeper body. As in, when you look at it from the side, it'll have a larger protruding stomach. Now, where this becomes tricky is when you have fancy goldfish like I do, and like you'll see a bit later, these guys are absolutely massive. They look like golf balls, and there's actually no way that you can use body shape to identify the different sexes in this type of goldfish or many other type of fancy goldfish. The next way is called breeding stars or tubicles. Now these are specific attributes that you would look for on the face and sometimes the side of the body of the goldfish, occasionally on the fins. This is what breeding stars or tubicles look like. Now if you see these tubicles or breeding stars, it indicates that you have a male goldfish. However, the problem comes in that a small percentage of females also have these. So once again, it's not 100%. The third way to tell is in the goldfish behavior. When it comes time for breeding, the male goldfish will chase the female around the tank, basically harassing them, nudging them from behind, terrorizing is a term that I've heard used. The problem with this is that chasing and running around in the tank doesn't necessarily indicate breeding behavior. Goldfish will chase each other around for a number of reasons, can be territorial related, uh, food or even just playing. Goldfish have a lot of personality, so when it is breeding season and you see a male chasing after a female or one chasing after another, you can almost certainly say that it is male. However, it has to be in the right context. It's not always an indicator. The fourth aspect is related to the shape of the area around the ventricles or the anal fins. In a female, this particular area should be a little bit indented uh, leading up to the anal fin, whereas in the male, you'll see a slight external dent. The other aspect is related to the anal fins, that a female will have two fins by the anal ventricle, while the male will only have one. The problem with this is that it doesn't apply to all types of goldfish, only specific goldfish. So if you have a type that's bred for a certain number of fins, like a ronchu, for example, they won't have that trait, so it's not a universal indicator. Now, the final way to tell if a goldfish is a male or female is also the most reliable, and it is checking the ventricle, also known as venting a goldfish. 
This is where you take the goldfish, uh, you can turn it upside down either in the water or outside of the water, it's easier to see outside of the water, and you check the ventricle to see whether it has the traits of a male or female. So again, turn over the fish, if it has a concave or an indent, then that type of venting would indicate a male. If you turn them over and it has a convex or an outward bump, the indicators would show it's a female. Also, the female vent tends to be more closed off than the male. And this is the main attribute that we're going to look for for my goldfish. So those are the five ways to test for sex or gender in a goldfish. They are body shape, breeding stars, behavior, number of fins, and checking the ventricle, also known as venting the fish. Like I said before, not all of these are 100% certain, so the best way to sex your goldfish or tell its gender from male to female is to use an array of all of these. Now, when you have fancy goldfish or goldfish that are bred for a certain body type, like I do, a lot of those become irrelevant and they don't work anymore. So we're gonna do venting. So let's go outside right now and do a test of sexing our goldfish. Now, as you can see from the venting that we did of the goldfish, both of them are females. The one we are certain is a female, which is the orange and white, and that's because we've seen it release eggs before, as seen in the prior video. And the other goldfish shares those exact same traits. It also explains why I haven't had any breeding. So our two goldfish are females. That's it for today's video guys, and if you own a goldfish, I hope that this information might help you if you're looking to determine its gender. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video and comment down below. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you once again as always on Chris Aquariums.